Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. In this problem, they're asking us to find x, the variable on the right side of our equation right here. And I see this fraction, 5 to the 6 over 5 squared. Well, I know that a fraction just refers to division, right? So we can think of it as a fraction or as division, but it's the same operation. But I do want to write these fives out. There aren't too many of them, so I can just kind of see the structure of this problem. There are six fives in our numerator, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and then two fives in our denominator. And we're dividing, so we can cancel here with this multiplication. Five divided by five and five divided by five are both one, and one's not really relevant, right? It has no impact on our product here, so we can ignore it. And what's left is the are these four fives right here. So all that remains is four fives, or five to the fourth, and x then must equal four. And as a nice and beautiful shortcut, when you're dividing with the same base, five and five, or any same base, you can simply subtract the exponents. Notice that six minus two is indeed four. And that's amazing because it's easy, but also because it is the opposite of what we do if we're multiplying. If we had, if we had five to the sixth times five to the second, we can then add the exponents to get five to the eighth. And I just, I always step back and I'm always amazed by this simple beauty with the laws of exponents. How when you multiply, you add the exponents, and when you divide, you subtract the exponents as long as the bases are the same. And I love that. I love that structure. All right, I hope this helped.